not very often you uh, tie Wayne Gretzky with a record. Yeah, that's cool. Obviously something that uh, I didn't want to talk about. I knew it was getting closer. And, um, yeah, any time you can be in that company, it's, it's pretty cool. Wayne Gretzky, and now Sidney Crosby. That's it. That's the list. After an absolutely stunning NHL career, breaking or setting just about any NHL record you can think of, Wayne Gretzky, deservingly so, was dubbed the great one. And obviously that has not and will not ever change. But long before a young Sidney Crosby ever entered the league, he was dubbed the next one. A tall order to live up to. But boy, has he ever lived up to it. As tonight, the next one officially caught up to the great one. See, it's been a tough year for the Penguins as a whole, who despite not mathematically being eliminated, the odds are they're about to miss their second consecutive year after missing the playoffs last season for the first time in 17 years. But it certainly has not been to the fault of their captain, Sidney Crosby. At 36 years of age, he has been on a tear, trying to drag the Penguins to the offseason himself. And coming into tonight's matchup against the Rangers, he had 10 points in his last four games and found himself just three points shy of recording yet another point per game season for the 19th time in his career. It was a game where we saw Quick celebrated for becoming the winningest American goalie in NHL history with 392 as he received his silver goalie stick. That was really cool to see. We had Shesterkin getting a little heated with Crosby as the two went at it a bit and we definitely saw some feistiness in this one. We also had had an e-bug in the building, the Rangers with a controversial one called back, and of course, Sidney Crosby making a little NHL history. So, let's get into it. And it was right off the bat. Smith to Crosby, rebound, and they score. It's Brian Rust with his 25th of the year to extend his point streak to 5 as the Penguins on the board just 18 seconds in. And Crosby was now just 2 points from 82. Just 6 minutes later, it's Rust to Crosby, and he rings it off the iron as he was this close to making it too. They come back out, Crosby to the front, and it's Russ denied. So then Joseph from the point, and this time they score. And of course it is, it's Sidney Crosby with a classic redirect in front as he scores his 36th of the year. But hold on now, the Rangers would challenge it for offside, and it was close, too close, as after review, this was deemed a good goal, which also meant the Penguins went to the power play. But after Truba would lose his stick, Carlson moving it out of the way would get called for interference, and he wasn't pleased about it, but we were back to even strength. With that said, though, not much went down, and that was actually about it for the first. So we'll head over to the second, where with that strong opening period, Crosby was now just one point from securing 82. However, Malkin, just two minutes in, would get called for the slash, getting into the hands of Fox, and while he didn't like it, the Rangers would get to work. And it's Trocek as he gets one off the post. But no worries, Fox to Zibanejad and they score. But it's immediately waved off. Called for goalie interference, it's Kreider in front and I don't know. He certainly interfered with Nedeljkovic but that came after he was also definitely pushed back into Nedeljkovic. Nonetheless, this one was deemed not a good goal and while they were dangerous, the Rangers just couldn't get another one to go. They were certainly busy though as another one off the post here. Catching some iron along with the fact that the Penguins were just doing a great job getting into the lanes to block them meant they just couldn't find the back of the net. And that then gets us to this. Shesterkin playing the puck behind the net as him and Crosby come together gives them another one as things were heating up a bit and this was just kind of fun to see. A little later now, Wenberg in the corner and he gets hit by Raquel and things definitely got a bit feisty as Wenberg was shaken up. And taking a look, Wenberg was kind of turning here at the last second so I don't know it's it's a bit from behind but it's a tough position to put yourself in and while the Rangers wanted the penalty there wasn't one given however the Rangers would end up on the power play almost immediately but once again the Penguins played a strong game again just getting into the lanes fought off another one as this was about the best chance that they got and with the PP expiring so did the period as once again Crosby and Shesterkin had another little exchange wonder what was 
said there. But let's head over to the third and final frame, where Sid, again, just hungry, creating his own chances in search of that final point. With 10 to go, a Rangers giveaway would lead to Bemstrom in all alone, and he scores. Backhand to forehand, and boom, a huge goal, his seventh of the year to give the Penguins a little insurance late. Not even a minute later, though, Fox to Kako, and it's a huge stop by Nedeljkovic to keep it out. Or did he? Kako immediately seemed to think this may have gone in and taken a look. It's tough to see, but after review, it was, in fact, deemed over the line, and the Rangers were right back in this. And so, with a little life, they would get a few chances before Zibanejad with the shot off the end wall, and they score again. Roslovic, with the fortuitous bounce, scores his eighth of the year as the Rangers were now within just one. And if you've watched Penguins hockey this year, this was starting to feel like the all-too-common third-period blow-up. And so, with two to go, Rangers pull Shesterkin, but the Penguins come up with it, and Russ, down the length of the ice, would score his second of the night as I could breathe a sigh of relief. Still with about two minutes left though, they try it again and Panarin with the shot, it's blocked by none other than Crosby who take it the other way and with the empty netter, second of the night, the third point of the night meant he officially secured his 19th straight season with a point per game. For it to come off of a blocked shot, it's just exactly what he is. A full 200 foot player and now with his 19th season at a point per game, he ties Gretzky as the only player in NHL history to accomplish this. To be at this level for such a sustained amount of time speaks to the remarkable player Sid has been and at age 36 continues to be. Now quickly on the other end of that though there was a couple of nasty cross checks as even Nedeljkovic would come and stand up for his guy but it was a little too late for the Rangers as that was about it for this one. The Penguins with a strong road game just makes absolutely no sense. You lose to Columbus but beat the Rangers? Don't give me hope just to rip my heart out. <laughs> but that's about it for this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you in the next one. Playing, doing something that you love to do and just like enjoying it and even getting paid to do something you love to do. I mean, can't even imagine how amazing that would be.